I get your point, but I don't understand why you go out of your way to say something when no actual emergency was going on. He wasn't in the way or anything. I guess it's just me. I personally wouldn't care because he wasn't hurting anyone. I knew this question would come up and I'm super glad that you asked this. October 12th, 2022, I pulled up to that same exact gas station where you see that officer illegally parked in a fire zone, no parking zone whatsoever. And I was shocked and heartbroken to find that there was a directly in front of me on the window of this gas station, a sign that said no loitering, no loafing, no soliciting, no sitting, no panhandling, violators will be prosecuted. You know why they said that? Because those people they scoff at that come in and they sit down at those gambling machines and they spend all of their money there for, you know, the gas station to put in their pockets. It's so that they can have those people arrested by people like that cop that's illegally parking. And let's talk about that. If one of those people, one of those panhandlers, etc., came in and they parked their Chevy Lumina over there, their 1995 Chevy Lumina over there, in the fucking fire lane, there'd be two cops that pulled up to corner it in. Point is, if it were anyone else, they would get in trouble and they would get cited and they would have to pay for breaking the law. Now what it says to a poverty stricken, high crime rate community, when officers blatantly do things like this, it says to the people, we're better than you. We're above the law that we swore an oath to protect you with. And we do not care about you, the people because you peasants should cater to us and cower too. Now, if I've kept you this long, let's talk about a couple more reasons why I do absolutely care that this particular man is doing this. On top of all the comments that I've gotten that clearly states that he drives this truck everywhere personally, which means there needs to be a full on audit of the entire fucking department because our tax dollars pay for them to break the law that they enforce on us, okay? So let's move on. He's also a local pastor. Let's throw it back to January 5th, 2022, before I got my lawsuit. I talked about a local pedophile named Richard Thomas Turnbow. How a local church was allowing him to just go around driving their church van, picking up kitties like it's no big deal while their parents have no clue that they're getting on the bus with a predator. That man victimized multiple people at this chaplain's church. After I posted this post on Facebook, January 5th, 2022, I got this message from Steve Lewis, you know, the people I featured in my other videos for letting Richie Turnbow go into well, around other people's homes without them knowing that he's a tier three sexual predator and pick up their yard cleanup out of their yard from the mineral area overhead doors. And Steve Lewis told me, I'm very confused right now. What are you trying to gain by this? Do you think no one knows about this? Are you acting as God's hand here for judgment? Get behind me, Satan. Remove the post now. How dare you put anyone on public blast? This from someone who claims to be working to help people come to Christ in missions. This is the work of Satan. I think you should keep your mouth shut about our church and our people. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Better hit your knees and ask for forgiveness as soon as you delete this slanderous post. Hope you don't get sued. And then about an hour after that message, I got a message from another person that actually used to go to the church before the one Richie's driving the bus for now, which again, belongs to the chaplain driving that truck that's illegally parked. Hey Mandy, I was gonna message you earlier today about your post and ask if you were talking about Richie Turnbow. This goes way deeper than you even know or can imagine. And it has continually been swept under the rug. I wonder why, wouldn't be because. He used to go to Solid Rock for years where I used to go when all of this started and happened. I'm so glad you had the courage to speak out. Now let's go to another person's message, a victim by Mr. Turnbow at that chaplain's church before he started driving, you know, the church bus to pick up kids for the church that's now suing me for that comment. Yeah. 
she commented on my post about Richard Turnbow and she said, hey, message me, who, I think I know who that is. I said, his name is Richard Turnbow. She said, that's what I thought and that was my grandma's neighbor and him and his brother messed with me as a child. His mom was my Sunday school teacher at Solid Rock Fellowship in Farmington, which is that chaplain's church. Then she goes on to say Solid Rock Fellowship actually had about four men that were ushers that were pedophiles. I'm not sure on paper, but my godfather really did some damage to me at five years old. He was the main usher for that church. The devil has many faces and he knows the Bible too. Look up Ron or Ronald Gosling. I think that's how you spell his last name. He was the usher at Solid Rock Fellowship. My mom was actually going to date him after his wife died, my godmother Mary. And I was terrified because I knew why he wanted to be with my mom. I didn't tell my mom because she would never believe me. I finally told her when I was like 19 and she freaked out because she told me that Mary had a problem with him showing his two young girls before he was saved. Why would my mom even try to be with somebody like that it sickens me. He works at Fredericktown Walmart, I believe, in the deli. Multiple child S predators have gone through his church, victimized multiple people, and gotten away with it while he parks wherever he wants and does whatever he wants and pretends that he's this perfect little pastor and changing lives when for real, the people see that the people see that and it hurts what that does to the community is it actually hurts them because while some people are very desensitized to what happens when the officers live above the law the rest of us understand it clearly and it hurts it's angering it's literally one of the biggest great divides and until y'all can look at a homeless piece of crap that you don't like and say he wasn't in the way or anything, I guess it's just me. I personally wouldn't care because he wasn't hurting anyone. Instead of putting signs up that say, don't stand here, don't sit here, don't come here, don't breathe the air here, unless you have something to give us. Genuinely, that's the problem. That's the problem. That's the point. And that's the point that gets missed. It's not just about him parking in a fire lane. It's about what that says to the people. It's about the disrespect to the law. It's about the disrespect to the badge. I mean, genuinely, we talk about honor and we talk about ethics. Where are those? Justice, the weightier things of the law, where are those things? Truth? Well, not parking in a fire lane would be legal. Parking in a fire lane is illegal. So if I would get a ticket, he should get a ticket. And him not being in the way at the time doesn't change the fact that if somebody's grandma strokes out in there, burns the place down with a cigarette, guess what? The fireman's gonna need somewhere to park. And that shiny little ass truck there ain't gonna put out no fires.